one of country music's biggest names, singer-songwriter Miranda Lambert. I'm going to get to the food part, but that is country superstar Miranda Lambert's smash hit Kerosene off her debut studio album back in 2005. She has made quite the career for herself, being honored uh, with dozens of Academy of Country Music Awards, including Entertainer of the Year in 2022. Yes. She's taken home 14 Country Music Association Awards. And now, here's the food part. She's author of a new cookbook called Y'all Eat Yet? Welcome to the Pretty Bitchin' Kitchen. And standards have said I can't say that word. The book is made up of stories <laughs> about Lambert's life, <laughs> particularly the women who helped shape her and the recipes they've all shared over the years. Miranda Lambert, good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Hey. Uh, your song, The House That Built Me, is one of my all-time <laughs> favorites. And this is kind of the recipes that made you. It is. This is this is the house built me in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It, it seems like you, you started writing a memoir and then started writing a cookbook and then realized it's actually just one book. How did this come to be? Yeah, it is. It's more of a lifestyle book, really, honestly. It's it's about sisterhood, and I was lucky enough to be raised by two generations of very strong women. So I kind of feel like they shaped who I am as a woman and as an artist. And um, a lot of those lessons were learned in the kitchen or around the table. Most of our memories started around the table. So it felt just natural to like put those recipes that really made me kind of who I am um, all together in a, in a book with a bunch of stories that I've never told anybody. I know, we learned so much. I call it Miranda fun facts. You live life on the fly. You love eating more than cooking. Salsa is love in a jar. First thing you bought when you signed a record deal was a four wheeler. Peanut butter and jelly is the ultimate safety sandwich. I so agree, especially <laughs> if it's Wonder Bread that's soft. Ooh, and it sticks to the roof of your mouth. I love that. Mm -hmm. But you, you say this, food doesn't solve problems, but it does bring people together because it's about friendship and comfort. And that's been true your whole life. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think, if you think about it, you know, some of the biggest moments in your life, whether it's a celebration, graduation, birthday, wedding, it's all about the food. Yeah. And if something terrible happens, it's all about the food. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's just a way to show love. And food tells a story. I'm a storyteller, you know, I'm a singer-songwriter, and I feel like this is just another extension of, of storytelling yes. on a plate, you know? You're yes. so spot on about life lessons being learned around the kitchen table, and you talk about that quite a bit. What are some life lessons that come to mind that you hold near and dear? I mean, all of them. You know, some of them I can't ever say on TV because these women were wild. <laughs> but uh, just, you know, like at 17, I started writing songs. And at 17, you don't have, I didn't have like a ton of life to write about yet. Mm. And listening to just these ladies growing up around me, my grandma's generation of girlfriends and my mom's generation of girlfriends, I sort of, I think my first couple of really sad songs were, were not something I had experienced, but something I was watching my, my aunties go through, yeah. you know? Uh -huh. And so it really taught me about emotion and kind of what to expect. Life's gonna throw some stuff at you sometimes, you And know? life does, oh, does it? You said songwriters are only as good as the people they meet and the stories they hear. What I love is the relationship that you have with your friends and your mom and your dad. I loved your whole family, by the way. I just thought all of them were so great. They're cool. But you talk about, <laughs> when, they're very cool, but you talk about when you were going through your divorce, you had all these things on your schedule, but life doesn't stop. Shows that you book don't stop because yeah. you're going through something bad. So you said when people, when you get lemons, squeeze it into a drink. And the moment you get, when stuff gets real, pick up the phone, don't text, call somebody. Mm. Yeah. These, these women really got you through. They did, you know, they, they raised me and they, mm. they supported me through good, bad and ugly. And that's what my group of friends, we call us Gen 3 of the Yaw Yaws. <laughs> yeah, uh, we called our Yaw Yaw sisterhood of traveling casserole dish. So. <laughs> <laughs> the two of the book, Miranda, is that, the, listen, I don't cook, but when I was listening, looking at the ingredients, I thought, I think I could actually make that. I'll tell you, it's very approachable. Yeah. <laughs> These are very doable. We are more about making it easy so we can spend more time drinking and hanging uh -huh. than, you know, all of the hard stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, this really is, it's, it's a starter book for someone who has, is not yet a home cook but wants to make this sort of table in their own home. Uh, you've got a, a great brisket recipe, just standard brisket. Ooh, yes. love some the brisket. meatloaf. Mm -hmm. The meatloaf. The mama's uh, meatloaf. You, you've, yeah. got, you've got a mashed potato uh, recipe, just solid, can't go wrong there, you can't know, fruit wrong. salad. Uh, what was it like working? with these women in your life to, to decide what goes in and then also because everyone's got a little bit different taste you know whether the chicken salad has the cranberries <laughs> or not well mom's chicken salad is a staple and nobody argued that but it was fun I mean it was also a good excuse for us to just have happy hours and decide which 
recipe should make the final cut. Yeah. <laughs> but it was really more about the stories and what what foods went with the memories. You the know what I mean? The stories and the pictures, Miranda. Yes. The great pictures. I love looking at pictures of you as a little girl. The stuff that you used to do in your own life as a cook. Yeah, I mean, not much has changed, except my <laughs> husband is the cook in our family. And yeah. Oh. I have a yeah, you call him the daredevil cooks. in the kitchen. Wait, you have a cookbook and he cooks. He, yeah, yes. he's the cook in our I think, family. I think your so. cookbook publicist is Please don't say that on TV. <laughs> I do cook. I do cook. But, but Brendan says he is the cook in yeah. the house. Yeah. Why is the bunny cake so special to you? And you like, know what? That I've been making that bunny cake. It's the first picture in the whole book yeah. because it's like, you know, I made it, I think, for the first time in second grade, and I literally make it every Easter. <laughs> what? And now, you yes. still do. Look, we yes. have a picture up there. We, oh, we yeah. Have a, um, we have a, a surprise for you. Can Our I resident bunny baker cake? here, Christopher, yeah. he a made bunny the bunny cake. cake. He's so I cute. Love. So, uh, one, I you have to tell it. us how it looks. It looks do? way and, better and, than mine usually oh, that's do. That's <laughs> no, no, I because love Marie, it so you much. You said it's all about the decoration. You how said, cute is that? Kissies for eyes, a black licorice for whiskers, you, and the gumdrops. You said it's all about the decoration when it comes to it. So how did he do? He did amazing. He it's good. super fun and, like, it's a feel-good thing. You know, I've, I've been making it since I was a little girl. I spent, like, Two Easter's ago with my whole band and crew, we had an Easter egg hunt. We're all adults, but I made the bunny cake. Yeah. And my stepson's four and a half, and I make the bunny cake with him now. So it's really, <laughs> it's our tradition. This whole book is about, you know, carrying on traditions and making memories. That's, that's right. all we have at the end. I know? hope you have new yes. music coming, Miranda, because mm -hmm. I love in the story you talk about you and your mom used to drive to radio stations to get your music played. We did. And look at where you are today. You have new music coming? I do. I have a couple of really cool collaborations up my sleeve. Okay. okay. With I who? I can't tell you yet, but okay. I'll come out Give us some initials. <laughs> and, and, and when the movie uh, Sisterhood of the Traveling Casserole Dish comes out, will you come <laughs> back and join us? Absolutely. Okay, I don't know okay. if that'll, that, it won't be PG. It might be PG-13. <laughs> hey, that's all right. You <laughs> like that that's around okay. here. And you got a residency in Las Vegas. We'll have to visit you when come we're all there. Yeah. Come Super see the Bowl Velvet Rodeo. It's going yes, great. Yes, I would love that. All yeah. right. Miranda Lambert, thank you for having me. Having nice me. job on the cake, this Chris. This is so cute. Y'all Eat Yet is available today wherever you buy your books. I Get one.